friends myself deepak pawar i welcome you all to wikinode channel we already started the video lecture series of system programming and operating system today we'll see the concept of macros so the question is write a difference between macro and function with example this question it was asked in the end same exam of november 2018 and that to be it was asked for the 7 mark the marking scheme for this question is three marks are for the difference and four marks are for the example so two marks are for macro example and two marks is for function example now initially we'll go for the difference so here the difference was there for two marks but it may possible that in your exam you will be having this difference for four or six marks if they are asking the question for four marks you have to write four parameters and if you are as they are asking a question for six marks you have to write six parameters so we'll see now the difference between macros and function the macros they are pre process what it means before assembling or before compilation the macros are get process and you will get the program which is actually the macro free but if you talk about the functions functions they are get process after assembling or after compilation before assembling or compilation functions are not available for the user so that is a basic difference we have macros are pre process and functions are post process second one the code length in case of a macro it is get expanded because we are performing the operation of expansion on a macros so that's why your code length is get increased in case of a function we are not going to expand the program that's why the code length it will remain same whatever is available before the program second as we are expanding our program so our execution need become faster because the entire execution will take place sequentially but in case of a function the execution become slower one because here when we are calling a function at that time we have to push the value of the next instruction on a stack so because of the involvement of a stack the function execution become slower one as we are talking about the sequential execution it is always time efficient so macros are time efficient and functions they are slower that's why they are not a time efficient wherever we have the small code which appear several times at that time we can go for the macros and when we have large code which appears again the number of times at that time we can go for the functions because of the expansion macros will require the more memory and as there is no expansion for function that's why they require the less memory so this is the difference available between macros and functions it is expected to write the three differences for the three marks now we'll go for the example of macros and functions so the macro definition already we have seen this part so i will repeat that part the macro is a keyword which is available in the definition itself second one is the name of the macro which we are again calling it as a prototype of macro afterward whatever the part we are writing till mn it is called as a model statement so here i have written two lines two instructions which are acting as a model statement and lastly mn this is the end of the macro definition now when we are using a call of a macro we are calling a macro with its name only because here i have not written any formal parameter so while calling i may not require any actual parameter so what exactly this delay will do this delay macro it will expand itself to give the two model statements or two lines inside your program so in this way the macro they are get called as well as they are get defined now we'll go for a function so for a function we are writing a function name after that we are writing the model statements and the every function it is going to end with a ret so when we are calling a function the function is called with a instruction suppose here i have used the a call instruction when i am calling the function the control of this is get transferred to your delay subroutine and then it will try to execute the model statement and for ret instruction my control it will again come to the next line of my program in this way function will work so this is the difference between macro and function as well as we i explain you the example of macro as well as function thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more such videos please like and share this video with your friends 
Also refer my website wikinote.org. Follow us on our Facebook page Wikinote Foundation. The links for the same are provided in the description box below.